Bob Marshall here, Top Writer Muse. Let's talk platens from time to time. Every platen that I get on a machine that I repair, they're all going to be a little different. So let me show you one of the things we get to do. This is all about conditioning and retruing a platen. Uh, this particular machine, it's a Remington Model 1, beautiful machine. And with, you know, the noiseless that it is, you can uh, leave the platens a little harder than usual and still have good imprint. This one tested out at 94, but it's very obvious that the rubber is a bit out of whack, a bit untrue, if you will. So this is my rubber lathe. And you can see I've already made a pass, and it did pretty good. I think I took maybe five thousandths of an inch off of it however it still has one hole you can kind of see there as i run in the lot so i'm going to run it take another five thousandths off and it'll be ten thousand shorter than it was before but it'll still be within spec and then i'm going to cover it in a rubber conditioner clean it retexture it get it real tight again and uh this thing's gonna rock but all part of the services that we can offer our customers here at Top Rider Muse on our beautiful rubber lathe. It's just for rubber, and it just rocks platens, retruing them, uh, cutting them down as needed, whatever it may be. So next time you have a machine service, and I mentioned something that sounds like a charge for retruing a platen and reconditioning it, uh, this is what I do. Obviously, I can't put the rollers through here. The rollers I have to do by hand uh, sitting at my bench, but the platen itself, I can get just as straight as it needs to be. And as it imprints, you'll get a real straight line and a real good finished product. So we're going to get this running. Make sure all the safety's in place. Turn it on. Got it all set. Slowly take off. Another 5,000 for the whole platen. So we got it all worked out. I just hit it with some alcohol. That's why you can kind of see some funny lines in the illuminating bright light I use, just so I can see everything. But the benefit about having a lathe is that I can just hit it. This is a uh, rubber conditioner I make myself that I'm putting on it. I'm just going to cover it and let it sit and slowly soak in. Let it do all it needs to do. Um, it doesn't necessarily, it doesn't make it softer, that's for sure. What it does is condition the rubber and you end up with a real nice rubber product that's nice and tight and gets a good imprint quite a long time so we'll just let this turn for probably a good 45 minutes half an hour it'll dry out I'll recoat it a few times by the time we're done we'll have a nice shiny completely trued and conditioned platen